pregame.com. Welcome back, pregame.tv. We are going to be breaking down Oklahoma against San Diego State. Brian Leonard is going to have a free play on this game. Brian, can Lon Kruger finally get past San Diego State? That was his nemesis back when he coached the Rebels. Yeah, it was. I, I like this Oklahoma team. I like the job that Lon Kruger's done. Uh, even though he's not here at UNLV any longer, he, he's a highly thought-after, sought-after coach. He's been to six different places, won everywhere. Uh, I believe this is the fifth time he's taken a team, fifth different time he's taken a team to uh, the NCAA tournament. Very good coach, excellent defensive coach. And what I like is he knows Fisher, he knows San Diego State. San Diego State recruits the same type of players every single year. So even though they're, n they're not the same players, it's the same style of play. So he's very, very accustomed to this. And you take a look at uh, what Oklahoma's done. They're eight and three straight up, five and two against the spread against non-conference opponents. Uh, they got knocked out early in this conference tournament. We talked about that in a couple other videos. I think that helps them. Um, Oklahoma struggled when they played the top of the line teams in their conference. But when they play teams that are equal to them or lesser, they did very well. And you take a look at San Diego State. I've really not been a big fan of San Diego State this year. I've been very good at picking their games. They just don't have as much talent this year as what they've had in the past. And uh, they're only two and five straight up against the top three teams in the conference. New Mexico, UCLA, Colorado State. They tells me that they're a step down from previous editions. And I like Oklahoma here. I'll go even further. I won't say they're a step down. I'll say they're absolute garbage that compared far? to the perception. They, look at the Rebels. The Rebels stink on the road. They can't beat anybody good on the road and if they do it's like a miracle one point win and they, they they and they sweep this team they win by seven at San Diego State you know uh, VR I wanted to ask you I really think that, that this is an example that because the jersey has San Diego State and they've dominated this conference they in New Mexico recent years that they have a great deal of respect look no further than the Mountain West Conference uh, tournament in the semifinals New Mexico has 8,000 screaming Lobos in the Thomas and Mac and they're laying one and a half against this team how could that possibly have been true and I think that goes to show why I'm saying that this team is so overrated that they you figure in that point and a half for the for the extra crowds they were rating these two teams equal. Even, yeah. Ludicrous, right? Yeah, I, I agree 100%. I think the weakness for San Diego State has been the problem all season is they can't score. I mean, they, they could play defense, but they just can't score enough to, to win games. And I don't see how they're going to overcome that uh, against a team like Oklahoma who can score. You know, Oklahoma could put up some points. Defensively, I, I do give the edge to San Diego State. You know, and, and even strength of schedule. As a whole, you got to give the edge to San Diego State. Uh, but otherwise, I think they m match up pretty evenly. I was surprised of the move. It opened one and a half, went up to two and a half right away. Money coming in on San Diego State. So it seems to me that you nailed it on the head. The perception is that this is a very good team. And, and they you do guys a, seem to disagree. They do have a late start time, which assists them. But the game's in Philadelphia, so they're yeah, going all the all way, the way, all, the way. all the way across the country. So that's a huge negative. What in San Diego, America's finest city? There might be what twelve people that travel. You yeah, know, friends yeah. of the family. Who wants to go to Philly? Yeah, um, no. I live there, and I don't. I rarely like. You know, I love the city. Don't get me wrong. I love Philly, but in this in this cold rain, I was just back east. This is the last the last place you want to be right now. And being from San Diego. Unless you want to have a power $103 breakfast just for yourself. <laughs> uh, Brian Leonard, let's go ahead and make this one official. I like the way Lon Kruger's teams play defense. Uh, it's a big, really intense game here. San Diego State is a team that plays up and down, up and down. A lot of athletes on this team. I question the coaches sometimes. You know, San Diego State played UNLV twice. You don't run with UNLV. San Diego State decided, let's do it twice. First time they did it, I go, okay, they're going to learn from that. Second time they did it, they didn't learn a thing. Uh, Oklahoma, I, I may disagree here. I think Oklahoma may have a better defense here. Uh, San Diego State's not a team that shoots well from the outside. Um, another reason why I like to go against San Diego State here is just take a look at how the Mountain West Conference has done in these tournaments the last few years. I know right now, like the, the number two RPI rated conference, they have not done well in the tournament. They've been horrendous the entire conference. I'm not buying into it yet. Let's get a couple wins down. So to take San Diego State here to be the favorite, no thanks. I think they lose this game straight up.
Oklahoma's deep, man. Nine deep this team. Three senior starters. They're, they're a deep club. Good team. Good back, team. back to what you said, another free roll bonus pick. Uh, I went over to the win last night. I played the Mountain West to go under five and a half wins, minus $1.40. I think that's a great wager. Under five and a half wins? Yeah, New Mexico's going to have to go to the final four. To, 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 to be, I, I basically look at that. It's like the only, the only team I'm worried about is New Mexico making a deep run, which, which could happen, but all these other cream puffs I, of the Mountain West. It's I like, disagree. I think Colorado State can make a deep run. They got good guard, good guard play, excellent forward play. They out rebound everybody. I think Colorado State's the team that's going to be the last one alive in this conference. Well, you know, and one thing too is I really like that the committee is is completely corrupt, and every one of these <laughs> mid majors they send to their deaths. So like they're you, you, you completely look, corrupt. Completely corrupt. You look you look at these games, and they wind up always having to play. It's like you, you, it's all these mid majors like after round zero and into round one, where they have to play Michigan and Michigan, yeah, yeah. Michigan State and Michigan, you know, Kansas State and Kansas. It's like it's absolutely laid out. They never give a break to the little guy. Oh, UNLV Cal. Oh, go ahead and play in, in you know, their backyards. So, ab, a, a, you know, absolutely. None of these teams have a shot. They're not going to let Bel the Belmonts go to the Final Four. And there's, there's like no chance. And they're furious at the fact that you know, they're so mad at George I, Mason. I, and, le and letting all this well, and, and letting they're Butler. They're so pissed off about and, George Mason. And people said Butler. Oh, they, Butler's got a pretty good draw, you know, to, to make it to the, to the Final Four. Well, they're going to the Big East now. Yeah. So they become one of, the, one of our took friends. It took Gonzaga 15 years to one, become one of our, <laughs> one, one, one of our brother and buddies. Okay, I digress. Let's go back to the um, the power conferences. When we return pregame.tv, we're going to go ahead and be breaking down Fighting Irish, Notre Dame, Iowa State. That, I tell you, that Iowa State-Kansas game where the refs cheated me, I'm uh, still having a tough time with that. I've been on a great run, and yet I still keep coming up with these games that I lost. Like they, they stick. I, I remember uh, this, these recent losses much Nightmares. more. Oh, God. So stay with us pregame.tv. Let's give you a winner on this Notre Dame game.